I am for my first uh, rest just the other side of Des Moines, Iowa. And I saw these guys riding their bikes alongside me. And uh, I could kind of tell something was going on. And then, uh, and then we all kind of pulled into the rest area here together. And uh, turns out the, the one guy's shifter uh, his shifter lever came off and uh, and like bounced along the road and then almost hit his girl in the head. <laughs> Nobody's wearing helmets, right? It's Iowa. <laughs> so, um, like she, she had the dodge. She had like, oh, she's into shifter part. So they're here uh, trying to figure it out and he's, he's looking at the bike and trying to figure out how he's going to put it back together again. She thinks she knows where the part is and uh, they started out with eight bikes this morning. It's, it's, a, it's a Sunday. They all went out for a ride, I guess, together. And um, they're all separated. The other guy had clutch problems. Now they got these guys here uh, having shifter problems. So um, she she goes, "That's it. I'm 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 going back home." <laughs> so one of the other guys went to go like road down and like exit back to exit, and then saw it and picked up the part and now they're trying to figure out how to put it back on without any tools so um, good luck to them I hope it all works out <laughs> they told me the story we all kind of got out together and then I kind of want to leave them alone to get their shit figured out because uh, I don't want to be a bother right okay so um, something I forgot to tell you from last night I was so um, overwhelmed with the Iowa 80 truck stop so many shiny sparkly things and with and flashing lights I was just overwhelmed <laughs> so um, there was oh I, I drove by um, and every once in a while on the interstate you get like a whole cluster of uh, bill, billboards like big giant ones and then there's nothing for a while and then you come to a Kind of a populated area or something there's a whole cluster of these things again so uh about 20 minutes before the iowa 80 uh truck stop just the, the cluster uh the cluster of billboards and it's the usual um car dealership and this and that right but there's one that really stuck out to me <laughs> big giant brown uh, billboard uh, with a big white sperm on it just one one sperm red circle with a line through it um, vasectomy <laughs> vasectomies um, in office no scalpel and a phone number <laughs> it was a uh, odd to see in the middle of all of those very regular looking kind of professional um, billboards and this one kind of looks like someone got up there on a ladder and <laughs> painted it on it had been there for a while too but uh, I don't know and that begs the question is, is the billboard really helping that guy's business is he doing more vasectomies now uh, because <laughs> of the giant sperm billboard on the interstate <laughs> I don't know I don't know. I was I was shopping for vasectomies myself at one time in my life, and uh, I don't know that I would have went for the one with the giant billboard and like the hand painted sperm. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to share that. And okay, so I'm going to have uh, get a few steps in here, have an apple, fresh water bottle, and then back on the road. I've already done uh, 200 miles today, and. Um, See if I can bang out another, I'll probably do another 200 and then uh, maybe see if I can find somewhere to have something to eat and then, uh, then I can bang out the last 200 and find a place to stop. Look at this. This is the, uh, there's tons of these, you know, the, the, the giant generator windmills. There's tons of these going up here and I'm seeing lots of oversized loads. Um, with like with that right the, the giant wing 
with the crazy extended trailer and uh, the big gearbox and the spindle and all that kind of stuff. Tons of oversized loads, uh, and they're going up everywhere around here. So uh, yeah, he's stuck one on a poster for some reason. Anyway, that's all for now. I'll uh, do a walk by and see if those guys got their bike fixed or not. I hope so. I have a few tools. Maybe I should go see if I can help them. I'll go see if they need a wrench or something. That's what I'll do. Bye. Had to uh, stop and put some 60 mile per hour tape on my uh, the vinyl that protects this the glass underneath was starting to rip and flap in the breeze so luckily I had some tape that the last guy left in the truck and I'm thinking it was ripped right up to here so I got it uh, I got it taped up and taped down to the frame and I'm thinking if I can kind of keep it from flapping here I might have a chance. I wish it was uh, NASCAR approved 100 mile, 100 mile per hour tape, but I'm sure it's not. So as long as it's 60 mile per hour tape, I'll be good. That's all I can do anyway. <laughs>